quality control is of utmost importance in construction. During a project, you never want to discover that the aggregate product you're using is ineffective or worse, unsafe. A sieve analysis or gradation test determines the distribution of aggregate particles by size. This information can then be used to determine if the material will comply with design and production requirements. A dry representative sample of material is weighed and then is placed in the top of a group of nested sieves or screen trays arranged in descending order from the largest openings at the top to the smallest at the bottom. The stack is agitated manually or using a sieve shaker for a designated period of time and the operator weighs the material retained on each sieve using one of two methods. The cumulative method and the fractional method. For the cumulative method, each sieve fraction beginning with the coarsest is placed in a previously teared pan and weighed. As each retained fraction is added, divide the cumulative mass by the total mass of the sample and then multiply by 100 to calculate the percent retained. Subtract the cumulative percent retained on a given sieve from 100 to calculate the percent passing. For the fractional method, the operator weighs the content of each sieve fraction separately waiting to discard material until the test is complete. As the operator weighs the content of each sieve fraction, the operator will divide the mass retained on each sieve by the total mass and then multiply by 100 to calculate the percent retained. To calculate the percent passing, the operator subtracts the percent retained on the sieve nested beneath. Depending on the specifications for the materials being tested, the findings should include the following. Total percentage of materials passing each sieve, or total percentage of materials retained on each sieve, or percentage of materials retained between consecutive sieves. Follow these tips for accurate and repeatable particle determinations. Avoid overloading sieves. Total material retained on a sieve at completion should be less than one to two layers deep. Allow enough time on a sieve shaker or testing screen for complete separations. Watch for degradation. Some brittle or friable materials can break apart during separation process, leading to inaccurate results. And regularly check the mesh for wear, tears, or distorted openings since this can bias test results. Gilson's testing screens are designed for coarse materials of mid-range density, such as limestone or gravel. And Gilson's sieve shakers offer many tabletop options for coarse materials up to 2 inches. For any questions about particle size determinations or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.